I am the God. Bitch, I'm the God. Bitch, I'm the God. Bitch, I'm the God. Bitch, I'm the God. I've waited for years for this moment. Greetings. Welcome to episode 82. This is container 33, part 1. I took a brief sabbatical from videos due to illness and a major change in my work schedule that has left me very tired. So um, thanks to Douglas Bean through Instagram for uh, giving me a kick in the pants to say, hey, when are you going to make another video? It's been a while. So here it is. So we're starting with a fresh container, 33. So let's see what we have. All right, let's sit up here. An envelope from a place that I cannot read. It's January 29, 2014. Oh, and it is Tarzan, a, a loose copy of Tarzan to add to the others. I keep the more rare games up here. So I will just place that on top of the sealed target or sealed more rare games next we have the paperwork that I completed in on April the 1st in the year 2009 I submitted for a Guinness World Record for having the largest Game Gear collection in the world not the most complete, not the most exclusive, but just the largest, 2009. And uh, I did it the free way because you can send it in for free and or you can pay a substantial fee. And I guess they'll look at it quicker or they'll review your case. I didn't do that. I didn't pay the fee, so I probably got tossed into the junk mail and lost forever. But that's as far back as 2009, which is, what, 14 years ago that I applied for that? Not holding my breath on them responding. Blank envelope from Japan. We have the cardboard insert for the carry-all bag. That kind of shows you what, how, what goes in the bag, what can fit in the bag. A little layout. Uh, some return address labels that I don't know why I kept. Uh, tie break. That's got, cannot be what's in there. Aha! We have a complete inbox Sega game pack four in one. And I believe that's my third copy of this game, which I did not realize that I had three copies of. One, two, yeah, two. So that'll be the third copy. Kind of, kind of beat up a little bit, but still a rare game. This was given to me by someone, Jazz Wares Incorporated, a Mega Man figure. Again, not intended to be in my collection. Looks like we got some very well packaged are very well bubble wrapped systems. So there'll be a, probably a, a pile of bubble wrap next to me in no time. 
the Sega Game Gear plus one AC adapter. It's the European adapter plus one Game Gear bag plus two Sonic Gain, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball. And off the top of my head, I don't remember what this was exclusive to, what country this was exclusive to. So I will put it up on the screen because I'll have to do some research to get that answer. But the box is in really good shape. And I honestly don't remember purchasing that for my collection. That's how long ago it's been. Let's see what else is, what other systems I've had imprisoned in bubble wrap for a very long time. Oh, I know what this is. I just have to get it loose. Bubble wrap to the right. This is the available only on Pirate TV. Includes TV tuner and columns. I think this was exclusive to the UK. But I will make I will double check and put it in the title down here in case I am wrong. And there's that one. Then I see I bubble wrap these like I, I had plans to never get back into them. This is the Pirate TV system. And this is Alternative Box. Limited Edition Rescue Pack includes Columns, Global Gladiators, and Prince of Persia. So it's the Pirate set, just the Alternative Box. And I believe there were only two. If I'm wrong, you can put Tell me that I'm wrong down in the comment section. Just please describe what the other variation or variations look like. Because I think there's only two versions of the box system. Let's stick with some systems. It's been a while. It's been over a month. Get off my lazy, sick ass and make some videos. We have the Sega Game Gear Aladdin box set. And as you know, this is, I think, pretty sought after. This particular box is a box variation. And I think, yes. I'm not going to yank it, but it is just the Aladdin sleeve, cardboard sleeve, over a regular European system. I'm not going to pull it all the way off, but that's all that it was, was a cardboard sleeve. The system was just a black system. There was no, like, Aladdin graphics or anything on there to make it, you know, really stand out and be unique. Which is kind of disappointing because it would have been kind of cool if they had at least put like a couple couple characters on the system to make it stand out, make it distinct. We also have the Lion King version. Again, cardboard sleeve over a regular European system. But this must have been for a different country because all of the narrative on the back of the box is not in English. 
Le Roy Lyon, maybe it was French or Spanish. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. But it was definitely, this one was definitely uh, regional. It wasn't just a European release with multi language, it was specific to one country. And while we're at it, I did not know that I had put all these together in the same container. This is the Jungle Book variation, box variation, and this is in English. So we got the Jungle Book, we got Aladdin, and we got Lion King. I think those are the three. And again, cardboard sleeve over a regular system. A very cheap way to make an exclusive. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is easy to this is easy to tell what it is just by the shape and the length. This is the Game Gear Car Antenna. In really good shape. Box complete. I see these pop up on eBay once in a while and they tend to go for around a hundred bucks. Reasonably priced, go for around a hundred bucks. There are some people out there, and I post on my Instagram uh, when people post games or accessories or systems for just out of control prices because I find it entertaining that someone is asking $3,500 for an incredible dummies game, crash test dummy game. I'm just like, you gotta be shitting me. And I have to share it with other people that are on my Instagram because if they're also collectors, they'll also find the, the comedy in such a high price for one game that is not rare. Let's see. Take away the address, and there's a slip inside. I bought this for no address or no date, unfortunately, but I paid $9.99 for it. It was $4 shipping, so $13.99 for the Japanese game Eternal Legend. So we've got games, games mixed in here as well. Oh my God. Those of you who watch my videos and consistently week to week, you'll understand why this game is just ridiculous. Tom and Jerry, the movie sealed. I, can't, I don't know how many I have now. I have, I've lost count. But at some point, I thought that buying sealed copies of that game was a good idea for my collection. What else we got? We have an NBA Jam Tournament, tournament Edition. By Midway and Acclaim. Complete in box. Fun basketball game that transitioned over from the arcade. With crazy dunk shots and the ball lights on fire and all kinds of craziness. How about this one? Let's take a gander at this one. Because I legitimately 
do not remember acquiring this. It's here, so I did. The Sega Game Gear Multi TV Set. One Game Gear, one TV tuner, one Sonic the Hedgehog. And then I think this might be German. And it's got a logo there that says Sega TV. So this one I'll have to look up. This might be a German release. Definitely overseas, but I think this is a German release. Just flipping, flipping around here. Oh, I didn't know I had this boxed. Uh, deluxe carrying case for Game Gear. Sales sticker says fourteen ninety nine. It's like the square, the square bag that almost looks like it would carry CDs. That that sort of shape. But uh, you can pack in games and the system. Comes with an extra wide shoulder strap for added comfort and convenience. Huh, that's cool. I didn't realize I had that. And just looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. We'll end on a bootleg, Japanese bootleg, or maybe Taiwan, maybe it was made in Taiwan, of Bubble Bobble in the box. I had seen this actually recently on a website that highlighted bootleg um, Sega Game Gear games, and my brain says, Man, it would be nice to find that one. Well, I guess all I had to do was dive into this container, and there it is. And you know that I'm an avid fan of bootlegs, so that works. So there are plenty of other things in here, but I'm going to cut it there. I know it's kind of a short video, but I, have, I need time to edit. And with the way my work schedule has been, uh, having time where I'm not sleeping in between shifts um, is difficult. So if the shorter the video, a little bit of shorter of a video, the easier it will be to edit it down. So thank you for tuning in and watching, if you are. If you like my videos, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give a thumbs up. I think I get a thumbs up every 10 videos or something like that. And um, when you subscribe, hit all, the notification bell, and then that way anything that I post for a new container will pop up and you'll be like, hey, there's another, he's, go he's still going through containers. I believe, we're on container 33. I believe there are 37, I think. So we're getting close to the end, not in a, hurried fashion but we're getting close to the end so hope you enjoyed it and i will see you my plan is <laughs> my plan is to see you back here in one week for episode 83 container 33 part 2 so until then please be well